Today, we were fishing a duck lure for pond monsters. Not only was the action amazing on the duck lure, but the skippability was next level. I was able to skip this duck lure underneath these trees, and boy, did the big bass bite. Oh, bro! Oh, right there! Oh, there. That is a nice one, too. Oh, golly. There's a mega. Get him in. Oh, is he on? Get him in. Oh, he's on. We're going to be fishing a duck lure today for pond monsters. I got a couple different ducks. So the first one, let me show you guys this. It is absolutely outrageous. This thing is huge. It has a treble hook with some fur on it in the back. Another treble hook down below its neck. And, uh, and it's got these little feet on the back. So we can show you when we get on the water, but this is gonna like plop kind of like a whopper plopper. That's pretty much what that's doing right there on the back. So the feet are just plopping. It actually looks really good in the water. But the one thing with this bait, this actually weighs three ounces. So one, we gotta be careful with it on our rods because our rods aren't really rated for a three ounce bait. And uh, two, it's just a very large bait. So it's gonna take a very big fish to eat it. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button really helps the channel i'd appreciate it so guys this is the second duck that we have and it's actually pretty much a fraud but in duck form so let me show you guys exactly what this looks like it's pretty cool a lot different than this duck a lot smaller profile this one's a soft body so this one's pretty much like a rubber duck equivalent to your bass fishing frog and it's got little duck legs off the back of it and uh, this one just looks spicy we're probably going to start off with this today and try to catch a lot of fish on it and then we're going to end up moving on to the big bad boy and see if we can catch something on it. It's just this bait is so large. So this is the beautiful pond that we're at today. It's actually already sprinkling. Hopefully we don't get rained on. We got Mr. Fletch. What's, What's going, going on? What's going on, dog? What's going on, brother? After them with these ducks. Listen, we are about to get after this ducks for pond monsters episode, baby. So Fletcher, this is what we're doing, man. Whoever catches the biggest fish is crowned the champion. Okay. Simple as that, man. I'm I'm about it. Are you with it? So what duck am I using? Am I using uh, the rubber ducky or am I using the hard? ducky so i'll give you an option i'm gonna start off with the rubber if you want to start off with that and just try to go for a freaking tank i want to be opposed to it do you want to try it i'm gonna put a, like a hard timer on this for me maybe like 30 minutes and if we haven't caught anything with it yet then i'll switch over to the rubber ducky just to get on the board if noah's just smacking them over there all right guys so i actually brought my kicking combo today but sadly i don't have braid on it and i also still have my snake on it if you guys want to go check out that video it's a freaking banger man we uh filmed a snake lure for pond monster so go definitely check that one out after this one Probably not gonna use the kicking combo just because it has fluoro. Are you throwing that one? That rod? Oh, are you? Oh yeah. Shoot. Here you go. I'm stealing your rod over here. My bad. <laughs> Watch her over here. Trying, trying to get get the juice, man. We got the rubber ducky, and we're gonna be pairing it up with a mock crushed right now but if you guys do want to check out the kicking combo the green ones you can check them out on kickingtheirbass.com i'll link it down below thanks to everybody who supports me in the brand we also have spinning combos in that same one so you guys can go check them out yeah let's go ahead and tie this duck on and uh see what's popping with it we're tying on with a uni knot pretty simple and uh this is what we're gonna go with now you kind of got me worried fletcher because that big one you you do have a good point if we are doing big fish that might be the go you know fletcher's gonna start off with it i'll probably pick it up here later depending on how this puppy's doing who knows we might be catching some giants on this guy <laughs> this thing is looking good let's go ahead and get started man and uh see if we can get something on board yeah i think you're gonna throw that thing next to one of these docks out here and get obliterated by a four or five pounder i'm just looking for like a school of ducks that i can just blend in with like maybe there's just, like a mama duck out here and like little ducklings swimming along and i can just show this thing right behind and you know tune into that natural presentation you're gonna make a bass actually eat a baby duck. Is what's gonna happen? <laughs> it's a sad day. I feel like the bass would definitely smoke it. Bass might just think it's his lucky day, you know? I know. <laughs> the one time he'll ever see a duck in a tree. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I mean, I'm getting it. Up there. You're up in there. I feel like having a clobbered. There we there go. We go. Oh, it was a nice one too. Nice. First duck bass. Is that a boy? Oh, let's go, baby. Let me see that thing. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> Just seeing a duck hanging out of his mouth. Look at that. Not a big one, but I mean, that's a good two pounder, man. 
Look at that. <laughs> that Crushed is pretty it. cool. I mean, she took that whole thing down. Yeah, just the standard walk, man. That's all that was. That was a pretty good bite for that fish, man. We're gonna we're gonna flop a weight on her since we are doing the tournament. We got the matching scale for the duck video, you know. I'd say two pounds, if that. Let's see what we got. Two pound, two one. Two one, Fletch. That's not bad. Not a bad fish. I'll take that for our first fish of the day. Not a big one, but not a bad one. First fish on the dock in the first like 15, 20 minutes. We cannot complain. That is awesome. Thank you, baby. There she goes. One thing that I'm going to pay attention to is pretty much how I'm working this bait. So I think that's going to come into play. We could definitely pop it pretty slow or we could do the walk very slow. I was just kind of doing this and I would kill it and then pop it some more. So we're going to be paying attention to the retrieve today. I think it can definitely maximize bites if we're paying attention to that. <laughs> Dude, dangling the duck looks so crazy. I know, the feet kind of go crazy. Yeah, really they do. Also, guys, how would you work this duck lure if you were out fishing with it today? I asked that in the snake video and I had some interesting responses. I'd like to know what you guys would think. Ah. Add the hole. On the dock. <laughs> okay. I knocked on his door five times. Hello, are you in there? I am doing a left hand skip too. I am not left hand, guys. You want the front so you can uh, skip with your right? right yeah, hand? it might be a little better. It might be a little bit. Oh my goodness. It's been a minute since I've ran one of these. I want to get used to it. I like this dang tree. Woo, baby. <laughs> what? Oh, dude, that, if that thing don't get bit there, I'm not sure. That just looks so saucy. Let's get up under the back. Oh, that was All the way in the back. Dude, the noise that that will make. Oh, man. Slop right there. Golly, it looks so good, guys. It's like we had a fish on, in my opinion, probably the less appetizing bank in this I whole know, pond. That's what I'm saying. And now we're throwing it in some of the juiciest looking stuff. Dude, it looks so good back there. This is one thing, guys. This duck does not go through the grass too well. This head, I know it's still angled up, but it just kind of gets in that grass and on the legs. It's not as good as like the silicone on the frogs as far as going through vegetation. But that shouldn't be too big of a problem. There's not a ton. Oh, you got a gator. I got a gator fish. I got a gator duck. I got a, got a gator duck. All right, dude. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. If I wasn't watching it like head on, he probably would have got it. You probably get hit him on the head. But like, if you... Oh, definitely. Dude, like, he is. All right, dude. You got to chill, bro. He's angry, isn't he? Well, you saw a bass just come up and try to eat that gator. <laughs> All right, you better get it away from me. <laughs> Golly, that was ballsy, boy. <laughs> oh, dude, that's crazy. Oh, Fletcher, Fletcher. Oh, God. Oh, Fletcher. So good in there. Oh, he sees it. Their peripheral is crazy. Yeah, like right there, he can see it. Their side angle is insane on them gators. At least we know one thing that these things would catch. <laughs> yeah. Gators like that, I don't know. That makes sense for a gator to like. He would totally munch down on a duck, you know, he just saw him cruising. I'm starting to get confused because it's like, yeah, it is weird for a duck to be up in that shade, but look how far I'm getting it in there. You just think, whether he think it's a duck or anything, you know what I mean? He would yeah, smoke that. I mean, look at how freaking good that is. Throw a bolt weight on that duck. <laughs> <laughs> throw a dang Texas rig duck. But look at that, Fletch. Oh my oh, yeah. gosh. Dude, I am casting this thing as far as you can. You're getting some amazing casts with that. I cannot believe you haven't got clobbered. Gotta get it so guys they also make like a brown it's like a brown duck that one's like a little more natural i think we get a lot more bites on the brown one but for the video we got to use the legit duck you know gotta, what i mean gotta, throw the, gotta throw the legit duck the duck is just slipping under trees and oh god oh my god <laughs> I mean, dude, come on. You're you're skipping a duck 20 foot in trees that nobody can cast in. I'm telling you, Texas rig duck. Don't underestimate it. I've done some weird things.